Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another automotive news video. Uh, today we're actually going to be reacting to some footage that actually is currently out on YouTube as well as taking a look at an article about the potential either 2022 or 2023 Ford Bronco Raptor slash Warthog. Uh, we don't really know. We, well, we still don't know what it's going to be called yet and I'm going to be talking about that in a minute but before we actually get into today's article if you aren't subscribed definitely be sure to subscribe i don't know the exact percentage but a lot of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed and it will help me out a lot if you go down there uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel i post at least three times a week and again it wouldn't mean a lot to me if you were to go down there and subscribe so anyways uh, going into this article actually by msn uh, normally when I do these automotive news videos, I don't really look at articles by uh, like MSN or you know CNN or Fox or anything like that. Uh, normally it's just all on car and driver, but I did come across this and this was like literally just posted nine hours ago by one of their authors and I did find it extremely interesting. I already read through the entire article and basically to sum it up, we have a couple of videos and pictures that are shot of what is believed to be the actual you know performance trim performance model of this new bronco coming out uh, a lot of people are actually starting to get the actual broncos on the road obviously the bronco sports have been on the road for a few months now but a lot of, uh, a decent amount of the orders for the actual you know 2021 broncos are getting fulfilled a lot of people want information on how the you know, performance model of this Bronco, or if Ford is even going to make one. And by the looks of it, it looks like they're definitely going to make one, especially after seeing these pictures of some camouflage prototype. So the first section of the article really explains that we still don't really know if it's gonna be called the Bronco Raptor or the Bronco Warthog. A lot of people have been calling it the, you know, or a lot of people have been saying that it is going to be called the Warthog over the past year or so. But honestly, Ford might just stick with the regular Raptor nameplate that they already have for the F-150 models. Honestly, in my, in my own opinion, it doesn't really matter. It's just a name. But obviously, I had to address the debate that has been going on for several months now on whether it is going to be named the Bronco Raptor or the Bronco Warthog. Unfortunately, we still do not have, you know, any news on that front. But looking actually at the first video, and obviously all of this is just amateur footage. And again, this is actually on YouTube too. I'll get the links to the videos as well as this article down below. All credit goes to, you know, the original um, photographer. But you can see that this vehicle, this Bronco, it's, clear, it's clearly a Bronco. It's clearly a new edge Bronco or a new gen Bronco, I should say. Um, but you can see from the back here, like it is much wider. Kind of just stopping it right there. You could tell that those fender, like that, they're, that's either fender flares or it's just a little bit wider. Uh, something's a little bit off about it. Plus, just again, the overall stance is just much wider than the normal Broncos. Uh, um, me personally, I haven't seen a normal 2021 Bronco on the road yet, but like, yeah, look at that from behind. Like, that just does not look like the pictures of the regular Broncos. And you can even tell. Like from that little takeoff, little acceleration, still sounds like a turbo, you know, V6 or a six cylinder engine. It doesn't sound like they're gonna be putting a V8, which is pretty unfortunate because I, for one, really wanted them to put the Coyote in the new Bronco Raptor slash Warthog, Warthog, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, basically, this new performance uh, Bronco, I really wanted them to put a Coyote engine in it. Uh, as a lot of other people really would want for to do that, but unfortunately they are uh, Still going with the twin turbo EcoBoost v6 now. I say unfortunately, but honestly This whole the three liter EcoBoost v6 that is again expected to um, be coming up in this performance 4x4 model of the Bronco Is also from the new Ford Explorer ST as well as the new uh, Lincoln uh, Aviator and it does produce 400 horsepower and 415 foot-pounds of torque, which is much more than the 
current highest output that you can get on the Bronco, which is right at 330 horsepower coming from the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6. Now, another very interesting shot of this supposed new prototype Bronco Raptor Warthog uh, is this shot right here, this like kind of thumbnail. You can see the actual, you know, truck rolling down the street. And then over here you see a kind of like lifted a little bit wider Jeep. So that gives a very good comparison. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of ironic too, because uh, let's be real, like the Ford Bronco's main competitor is the Jeep Wrangler. So now looking at this second video, it's from the same channel, I believe, but yeah, you can see that just, that doesn't look like a regular Bronco. It could very well be a regular Bronco that they were just testing and out on the road for some reason. But for some reason, like yeah, even the suspension, like he zooms in on the suspension. Suspension looks different. Um, the axles look a little bit different. The stance is wider. The overall body, it's just way, way more wider than from the Broncos that I've seen. And you can see like the five different uh, lights. He does zoom in on the spare tire hanging from the back. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. It goes on to zoom in on some of the other suspension components. I guess what I find hilarious is that this, this video is like four minutes long and this other video is like two minutes long. But whoever was taking this video I like, especially the first one, I think they just straight up pulled a U-turn in the middle of the road and just started following whoever was driving this Bronco. Uh, but they definitely like go in and zoom on a bunch of different like little details on this new, again, supposed prototype Warthog or Raptor Bronco. And I do find it very, very interesting. Even like this takeoff too, right here, I found pretty cool. Because again, this was the shot that pretty much led to the thumbnail of uh, this new prototype right next to the kind of new, newer uh, Jeep Wrangler. And on the road, I mean, it looks very badass. Uh, again, it's covered in this the camouflage wrap that Ford puts on it. But I think, I think this truck, when it does come out, if, if it's gonna be a 2022 model, we're gonna be seeing it very soon. But even if it's gonna be a 2023 model, uh, it's uh, I think it's definitely gonna be worth the wait I do think that a lot of people that did already order the regular Broncos aren't really gonna be upset in my own opinion I do definitely think that the regular Bronco is still a very amazing truck that they're coming out with and Honestly, I I'm very happy that they're actually going to make this performance trim of it because obviously with this new performance trim, whether it's gonna be called the Warthog or the, uh, the Raptor, it's, it's only gonna be better than the base. I feel like that comes without saying. And now moving on to the final part of the article that I actually wanna talk about, both the pricing as well as the kind of like a late arrival article. Uh, the first edition was basically right over 60,000 US dollars. So whoever wrote this article is expecting a base price in the mid $60,000 range. And honestly, I could see upwards close to $70,000 after, you know, dealership markups and everything like that. But then again, it does highlight that the Rubicon 392 that has already come out has a base MSRP of $73,500 US dollars. So uh, again, I do wish that Ford would make it a little bit cheaper, but unfortunately, like they can't really with the amount of effort that they're putting into it, as well as the market is already up there. I mean, I think the Rubicon 392 is a little bit overpriced too. That's just my own opinion. But I definitely think that Ford like has to make this Warthog or Bronco Raptor cheaper than the 392 Jeep because with the 392 Jeep, you're getting a Hemi 392. You're getting an actual American V8, which I know a lot of people in that market really, really want. A lot of people wanted Ford to put the Coyote engine in this new Bronco Raptor or Warthog, whatever you wanna call it. But unfortunately it just looks like we're definitely not going to get that. And then obviously in this like little late arrival section, it just goes on to explain how COVID kind of threw everything off. So we're most likely going to be seeing this performance edition of the Bronco, so to say, probably as a 2023 model year, 
Again, hopefully it's a 2022 model year. And if it does come out as a 2022 model year, we should be seeing it within the next few months. But if I were to bet on it, if it is gonna come out, it's probably gonna be as a 2023 model year. Now, anyways, guys, that's pretty much just gonna be it for today's video. If you have any more information about this supposed Bronco Warthog or Bronco Raptor, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But like always, guys, thank you for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.